Hey guys, what's up? It's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you this candy corn inspired clay earrings. For this, I'm using this porcelain clay. I love working with this one, my beloved clay, because I find it really easy to work with. But you can use polymeric clay as well. This is a brand that I have worked with in the past. It's pretty much up to you and personal preference. Polymeric clay, you have to bake it. The clay that I use, you don't. You just let it air dry. So I'm just going to be working with my clay. I'm just going to first roll it on this roller that has these two green rings on each side. Those are there just so that I can have like the same thickness all around my clay. So my pieces will be like the same size. I'm going to be using this um, baking tool. I'm going to be washing it after this. These are to me sometimes like the perfect like cookie cutter or just clay cutters. Cutting two per pair of earrings. I'm going to be working on the shape and candy corns are like a teardrop shape but a bit longer not so round you know what I mean it's like that kind of shape where one side is like smaller and it goes from like smaller to bigger but it's not as round so I'm just doing this kind of like placing my clay in between my, uh, the palm of my hand and my fingers pretty much pushing one side like this this is kind of like the shape that you want to go for I'm going to be uh, letting my clay dry and if you're working with polymer clay you may want to uh, bake it now or maybe you want to do this next step before baking it's pretty much up to you but I'm going to be taking this exacto knife I'm just going to be like if I work to cut this uh, in half like all the way and then I'm just going to be cutting that part so that I have like this flat part I'm going to be using this um, ear posts my scissors and some glue and I'm going to be cutting my uh, ear posts because if I were to glue them like this, it would be visible. So I'm just going to be cutting my ear posts in half like this and then I'm going to glue them. So that space that I cut it is where my ear love is going to be. For the traditional ones, I'm going to be using white, orange and yellow. I used a few brushes and first I'm going to be covering the whole thing in white, giving this three coats and letting it dry between coats. This is how I'm doing it. For my yellow, I'm going to be using my thinner brush and I'm going to be painting less than half bottom part. And then for my orange, I'm just going to be taking even a more detailed brush and paint like a stripe all around my piece or my candy corn. Now I wanted to go for metallic candy corns as well. So I'm just using some silver, gold and copper. And I'm doing pretty much the same thing. My silver is going to be like the white part where I painted the whole thing. Then my gold is going to be like my yellow uh, where I painted this part, like the bottom part. And then my copper is going to be like my orange where I just painted the middle part, like a stripe. As a final step, I'm going to be adding some gloss. I'm using this glaze gloss by Sculpey and my brush. And I'm giving this a few coats until it's like shiny and smooth looking. And I'm going to be covering both in gloss. But yeah guys, these are the two ideas that I want to share with you. I honestly like them both. I love the traditional one. I think it's so much fun for Halloween or just October. It's like a settled statement where it's kind of like a colorful and vibrant, but it's not so in your face. But I also love the metallic ones. I feel like they are so much fun. I think they look like candy corns, but they are not as obvious, if that makes sense. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing them like all year round. Not only October and like Halloween, but pretty much any other season because I really like them. I think they look kind of like vintage in a way they are pretty affordable to make pretty lightweight but yeah i really like them both and hopefully you do too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more halloween accessories and accessories that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this ones and share them thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye